The key message for the last five weeks of the course, slow down and focus. After a long and treacherous path through difficult and complex readings, we now come to a central text which is highly readable and highly accessible. We will navigate through this textbook over the next three weeks. Kate Nash, the author of the text, takes a very clear stand on human rights. There are different stands, so your critical thinking skills are essential to these last few weeks and the development of your research proposal. But more importantly, in our role as sociologists, qua sociologists, we must ask questions that can be addressed with empirical data. What are human rights? What are the implicit assumptions about human beings and human rights? Are human rights universal? Or are they social constructions shaped by cultural context and constrained by social structure? These are questions that are difficult to answer as sociologists. We can more easily answer questions regarding how different individuals and different groups define, understand, and support human rights. Writes Kate Nash about her book. In this book, I develop the political sociology of human rights to analyze the range of actors involved in making human rights claims, the types of action in which they are engaged in making human rights claims, and the organizations through which claims are addressed. Nash clearly thinks that human rights do not rest on the firm foundation of God-given re reason or natural law. Rather, she claims these are, at any given time and place, contingent. She proposes a framework through which to study human rights as cultural or social constructions embedded in the cultural politics of what it means to be human, how rights are created, and how the politics of human rights impact their social and cultural fields, as well as the enduring structures that create and sustain the suffering and injustices addressed by human rights advocates. In Chapter 2, she begins to summarize and analyze the different types of organizations through which human rights demands are made. This week, you must write a letter to a political representative regarding some form of human right and some organization that concerns you. Next week, you must visit a human rights organization, even if this is just a virtual visit. Both of these assignments align with the key goals of the course. As you launch your research proposal, we embark on a close examination of cultural, social, organizational, and political factors that influence the probability that a specific nation state elects to ratify a specific United Nations covenant or convention or human rights issue. I look forward to working with you over the next five weeks as we move toward the closure of the course and these very important, crucial questions in the sociology or political sociology of human rights.